Hi guys, so here's how to set up a custom domain in Zenla. So first of all, I'm on our dashboard and I'm going to click on site. As you can see, I'm on site settings, which is the default for this page. I'm then going to click on custom domain. So I've bought jamiezenla.com. So I'm just going to copy this from Namecheap. And I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to add. I'm going to click update. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my account and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on manage. This is all on Namecheap, so th things will vary if you're on GoDaddy. There are also instructions for people using GoDaddy, um, but at the moment I'm just using Namecheap. So I've clicked on manage and now I'm on advanced DNS. Right, so now I'm going to edit this. So this at the moment, so if I go to my domain, it just goes to a parking page. So you see parkingpage.namecheap.com. So I'm just gonna delete this I'm going to add a new record and I'm going to add a new C name record. I'm going to put www. I'm going to put www. Dot, and then we're going to put jamiezemler.com. So so we're going to go www. Dot, and then we're going to put in the URL to my school. So I'm just going to go jamiezenla.newzenla.com. I'm going to copy that. I'm now going to paste that in. I'm going to click the little tick. So now that's done, I'm going to go back to my site settings and I'm going to click here to confirm. So now it's going to take 24 to 48 hours to get this done so I'm going to pause this video here and then I'm going to come back to it once it's done. So now I've done that I've got to check my email and there should be a link here. So there should be a link here for the instructions so I'm just going to click here and I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to quickly verify that I have done everything on this list. So I pick step one. There we go, I used Namecheap and I did all of this. So that's done and I have also done the setup on Zenla. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm gonna send an email back to support and just say I've done it. Um, this is going. This process is going to change, and there'll just be a link that you can click to verify that you have done it. And I'm just going to click send. Right. So I've waited 24 hours, and now I'm just going to check that my thing still works. So I'm going to go to jamiezenla.com. And there we go. So this is my course and it's entirely hosted on Zenla, but it just comes up with the URL that I've bought. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on courses. So next lesson we're gonna be talking about how to set up the prefixes for the domains. So until then, I will see you later.